Jules Verne is one of the most fascinating writers of all time. Not only because he was a good writer, but mainly because he predicted the use of many inventions in the future. Submarines, space travel, and electric motors are some of his predictions to humanity. But there was more to be discovered 91 years after his death. His darkest book remained a mystery until it was found by his family, in 1989. Paris in the 20th century was written in 1863. Verne tried to publish it in the same year, but his publisher, Pierre Jules Hetzel, said that the book was rubbish and that Jules Verne created something far inferior to what he has done before. So the book remained incomplete forever, hidden under his house's floor. But what does Paris in the 20th century tell us? The story goes around the 1960s and follows a young man called Michel de Frenois. In this future, everyone is materialist and everything is mechanized. Nobody cares about feelings or art, but just to work and to buy expensive technological stuff. The protagonist feels himself lonely and blue, kind of left aside of the society, but yet inside of it. His dreams about art and love are mocked by those around him, and he feels a deep sadness. Between Jules Verne's predictions in this book, we can find a depiction of great buildings that look like they are made out of pure glass, just like today's buildings. This represents the lack of beauty in the human heart, and this lack of beauty makes the future humans think only about the useness of a building, but not about its beauty. He also said that the future would have cars, and that they would use gasoline as fuel. He also said that this society would have some kind of mutual long-distance communication through text and images, just like the internet. But with all this technological evolution, humanity has forgotten art and beauty. The city is ugly, the people are devoid of artistic sense, the music is bad, and everything is based on a futile and empty life. Does this sound familiar? Art these days is lazy and emotionless. The dance is based on stupid trends where people just shake their hands in front of a phone. Movies are getting dumber and also meaningless. Music is getting so artificial that no one needs to have talent to make success, just a good entrepreneur. Even the architecture is getting worse, and our cities look just as bad as Verne described. It's a sad point of view, as we can see. And Verne was also upset about his depiction of the future. But that was the way that he saw humanity was moving to. The death of beauty. <laughs>